What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. This is the continuation video of the, my last salmon catch. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out. We're gonna start this video off uh, just with the cooking portion. I'm gonna fillet first. Woo, nice. 29 inch salmon right here. That's a beauty. All right, so this is the king salmon that I caught. Really beautiful salmon. Uh, and you can tell it's a king salmon because it has the dots on the tail. And then it also has uh, the, the black gums inside the mouth. And you can see the tongue is black as well. So that's how you know it's a king salmon, uh, opposed to a coho salmon. We also have those here too, but those are actually uh, illegal to catch or illegal to keep in California. So we were only allowed to keep these king salmon and we're allowed two salmon uh, per day during the season. And this guy you can see is actually a hatchery salmon. And what that means, you can see right here, you see the adipose fin? It's been clipped. So when he was, uh, when he was in the hatchery, they clipped the adipose fin and they released him. So this is not a completely wild salmon. It wasn't born in the wild, it was born in the hatchery. I'm gonna take the head off first. Wow. Look at that color. Yeah, even that though- That is way more orange than the other one. Isn't it? Even though it's a hatchery salmon, looks like he's been eating well. Uh, he's eating a lot of krill. That's how they get that orange color. And most, a lot of the times, I guess the, the ones that go to the deeper ocean, uh, they get a lot of krill. So they'll be very orange like this, beautiful color. And we're just gonna do this real quick, all right? So. Look at that color. Take the spine out. And we're just gonna trim this bit off here. All right, well that's all the salmon portioned out for sushi. Now I'm just gonna wrap it up with some plastic and I'm gonna freeze it in my home freezer. I have a, one of those chest freezers. In a freezer like that, it takes typically about seven days to kill off the parasites uh, according to the FDA. So that's what I'm gonna do. Freeze it for seven days and we'll see you back here in seven days, all right? And the salmon is ready now. And while I was waiting those seven days, I decided to make a table. So yeah, benches are done. Pretty happy with it. I just have to stain it and put the polyurethane. If my calculations are correct, should be no problem. This is how it looks on the underside. It's not perfect. There's some spots that are... Yeah, check this out, guys. I'd say that looks pretty dope. Just gotta do a couple more coats of the finish, and I'm done. I didn't make an actual YouTube video, but I did 
post some Instagram stories uh, on my page. So if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, make sure to follow me at Outdoor Chef Life. Um, so yeah, I built it and mainly because I had been looking to buy one for a couple weeks, but I wasn't able to find anything good that was a decent price. Everything was just like overpriced and or it was just Ikea stuff. And I wanted something that looked a little better than Ikea, you know? And I, I decided to make it and it came out pretty dope. I like it. This is uh, my first furniture that I've ever built. All I have is high school wood shop experience. And I was able to do it. Watched a couple YouTube videos. I was like, I could do that. And then, yeah, it worked out. <laughs> a little bit of a, uh, messed up a little bit because uh, I didn't know that two by fours and two by eights, those measurements, it doesn't come with those measurements. Oh man, what the hell? It's not supposed to fit flush. It's supposed to be a little overhang here. Cause these, these pieces of wood are supposed to be two by eights, but this is a two by seven and a half. So that messed up my math, messed up my measurements. All right, I fixed it. That's better. Should have that little overhang. All right, and here is my beautiful salmon. Today, I decided that we're gonna make some sushi burritos. There's an actual restaurant chain called the Sushi Rito, and they basically make um, sushi that's in the form of a burrito. That's what we're gonna do today. That's what we're making. And the first time I heard of that, a Sushi Rito, I was like, so they basically roll it, but they don't cut it up, and they just serve it to you. <laughs> without cutting it. All right. <laughs> so we got our ingredients right here that we're gonna use for the sushi rito today. Yeah, we got this, the salmon, of course. Got some lettuce, got some shiso, avocado, uh, some seaweed salad. I didn't make that one, I just bought it. Uh, we have lotus root, cucumber, edamame, and some little side ingredients like rayu, the chili oil. And uh, this was my dehydrated feather boa from that previous uh, seaweed episode that I did last week. Yeah, so we're going to incorporate this today. And I have some sesame seeds. I have pickled kelp as well. All right, well, let's get to it. We're going to prep the salmon first. And I'm just going to cut it into chunks like I would for poke. I'm going to save the skin and we'll fry up the skin too. And we'll make some uh, crispy salmon skin. I usually peel it, but who cares? I don't have a peeler, it's all right. So I'm just gonna slice this thinly. Actually, I have a, oh, yeah. a mandolin. Let's see, let's check the thickness. That's probably a little too thick. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, that looks good. Now we're just gonna fry these up, make lotus chips. Lotus root is really good. If you've never tried lotus root, try to find it at your Asian market, Japanese market. Um, Cause yeah, it's really good. It's really, what is it like? What would you say it's like? It's like a better potato. It's like a better potato, Justin says. <laughs> <laughs> Grind this up just like potato chips. I'm gonna take the feather boa, the kelp. I'm gonna crush some in this little bowl. And we'll make a little seasoning with them. Cause this is very salty. Uh, I figured it would be good for a little seasoning. This is like adding salt, right? We'll add some sesame seeds. Now right, I'm gonna take a full sheet of nori. I have my sushi rice. Got my nori. So 
some of this, the feather boa and sesame seeds together. And of course we'll add our salmon. I think that's a generous amount. Seaweed salad. Should have put this before. That's all right. Do you want avocado? Sure. It's extra. <laughs> <laughs> Edamame? And you want some rayu in there? Yeah. Or you want spicy. You want um, sriracha mayo? Um, rayu would be good, right? Yeah, either or. You should have mixed it with the salmon, but that's alright. Alright, let's see if we can close this. It's kind of a lot, huh? Yeah, I'll put too much salmon. All right. They don't call me taco for nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna make the other one first, and then we'll cut it, okay? Oh, he forgot my lotus roots. Oh yeah, I'll put it in the next one. I'll put shiso here. Some lettuce too. Some the salmon. This one I'll put some lotus chips in there. Alright, we'll put some salmon skin in here too. Pickle kelp. I mean, you can just pretty much put anything you want, right? It's like whatever, just mix and match. And we'll put some, whoa, just pour it out. Put some sriracha mayo. All right, let's try to wrap this thing. go easy Burritos. <laughs> All right, cheers. Ah. ah, which one do you want? Mm. Which? We'll just start um, with this one. All right, I'll start I'll with that one too. Way. We're gonna first try. The one with the sriracha mayo and lotus uh, lotus chips. What do you think? Nice. Good? I can taste a lot of the individual flavors. Yeah, you can, huh? I actually can. I can taste yeah, the yeah. shiso. Oh yeah, I can totally taste the shiso. Mm -hmm. That's like the first thing you taste. And then you get the... Of course, there's a lot of salmon in there. <laughs> get a nice snap from the lettuce. Use your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm surprised with the sushi rio, mm -hmm. and you can't taste each one. Mm, it's that, just like a blend. Yeah, the blend of just uh, mostly the sauce, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I've never actually had a full sushi rio um, sushi. <laughs> That's pretty good, though. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, a lot going on in there. The salmon, though, the salmon is so tender mm. and delicious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. isn't that, is that your favorite part? Mm. All of it is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's solid. That's a solid sushi burrito. So easy to make. Well, it's basically you're making a roll. 
Oh, you're not cutting it. That's it. <laughs> mm, that salmon is delicious. And the cool thing about salmon is that even if you freeze it and then defrost it, the consistency, the texture doesn't change much at all and the flavor, it doesn't um, change. So it's a, it's a, it freezes well. And just like tuna too, tuna freezes well, salmon freezes well. We got some lotus chips on the side. No, oh, mm. so good. It just has its own, mm -hmm. um, its own unique texture and flavor. <laughs> These could be little appetizers. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Like this, put like this. Um, a little bit of, a little bit of seaweed. Little rayu. And now look at this. Whoa, Ooh. I've created. That's a that's a twenty dollar appetizer. <laughs> Oh, thank you. All of it? Oh, yeah, go for it. I can make another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it worth the $20? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made one for myself, too. Yeah. Oh. oh, this one has avocado. I didn't put avocado on the other one. This one's nice and oily. Tasty. I like this one better. Mm -hmm. I like this one better. Oh yeah. Put some lotus root in it. This root's on it. Mm. I'll just put it on, put it on there like that. Right is really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Man, I could just have a whole jar of ryu on some rice. <laughs> I think that's probably one of my favorite Japanese ingredients that you've introduced me to. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tasty. It's addicting. You know, you did eat a, a bunch one time. Do you remember? One time we went to um, oh, Yosemite. Yosemite, and then we got snowed in. And all we had was rice and ragu. <laughs> so all I took, because um, we were planning to, I guess, like eat out, you know? Yeah. And so all I took was some leftover sushi rice that I had from the restaurant, like a bit, pretty big box of it. And I put like some ragu on this side, I put some like furikake on this side, <laughs> some seaweed on this side, and then. Um, yeah, we we got snowed in, so we can go out to eat anywhere. And all I had was this. I just meant to have it for the car ride, the mm -hmm. rice. But luckily, I packed a, a lot of rice <laughs> and a lot of rayu on it. So we just ate that for for dinner one time. <laughs> yeah. It's because um, it was a really spontaneous trip. Yeah. He literally called me the night of, and we're like, hey, you want to go to Yosemite tomorrow morning? Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. <laughs> But then we didn't have snacks or anything ready. Yeah, we didn't have anything. Well, first thing in the morning. All right, well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. And uh, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.